Hello, everybody. Welcome to TT Isle of Man, right on the edge, too. A big thanks to Nacon for sending me this game. This is a sponsored video, uh, meaning that I have been compensated to make it. However, nothing really different here on the channel. Um, huge fan of racing, love motorcycles. It's a win-win as far as uh, I see it. You can grab this game today. It is available. You can get it on PS4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. So I know a lot of people will be happy about that. And you can get your copy by checking out the link in the description below. I am on the uh, Steam version of it, obviously on PC. So uh, the graphics and all that stuff, I can't really tell you what that's going to look like compared to what I'm seeing here. But the game looks fantastic so far. It is extremely challenging. Uh, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. Really fast on the options, I really like the UI. You've got gameplay options here. Uh, you can change your writing style. I've been using Pro. You can go up to Simulation if you would like. Um, and I'll, we'll talk about that once we get on track about it. Uh, you have some in Pro and uh, Amateur. But we're going to go with Pro on that. You can see all my settings there. Controls uh, using the Xbox One controller. Cameras here. Uh, display options uh, and system. You can turn the music down. That's what I did. So let's check it out. We go to single player. We have some options. We got career mode, quick race, time attack, free roam, and a tutorial. From the quick race screen, we have the Isle of Man, United Kingdom, and Ireland. Now I'm brand new to TT racing, which is uh, tourist uh, trophy racing on motorcycles. And uh, I wasn't really um, sure of where any of these tracks were. Uh, but if you're a fan of the, of the sport itself, you're going to know uh, what's going on here. And you have a lot of options here uh, to choose from, number of laps. We're just going to do one on the mountain course because I'm not going to be uh, doing four laps here uh, on Isle of Man. And then we've got time of day. You have noon, evening, morning. Uh, you got weather, clear, misty, cloudy, overcast, variable. Uh, we'll keep it on clear for now. Temperatures, you can change it. Uh, number of opponents, the max is nine. Starting position, you can choose where you want to be. Uh, we'll start out first uh, in difficulty. I moved them up to hard. I was on medium uh, and I was able to get by them. If you're not crashing, you're going to be okay. And speaking of crashing, you're going to crash a lot. All right, so difficulty hard, we'll confirm that. And we're greeted with this screen. This is the bike selection screen. Now you have different categories to choose from. You've got super bike, classic, and super sport. I learned on the super sports. Uh, and then when I moved over to a super bike, man, I got my butt handed to me. So keep that in mind. Now, if you're a big fan of this style of racing, you have classics. I think this is so cool. I would love to see more racing games do this. Um, but uh, these are back in the day, vintage style bikes you can race here. You've got a bunch to choose from um, there uh, when it comes to that. Uh, and then you can change the liveries on them on some of them. doesn't look like it's any of those, but on some of these, uh, you can change the liveries on those with the super sports. Uh, super bike wise, you've got uh, a Honda CBR 1000 RR. You've got a Honda CBR 1000 RR, a 2019 version, the Kawasaki ZX 10 R. You got the EBR uh, 1190 RS. You got the Norton V 4 RR and the BMW S1000RR, uh, BMW S1000RR 2019 version. And we're back to the suitors and stuff. So uh, we're going to be doing uh, the BMW S1000RR and we're gonna do Michael Dunlop uh, is what we're gonna do here today with the super bike. It, this is very, very difficult. You can go into a showroom and look at the bike and see how pretty it is. Uh, the modeling of the bikes are done very, very well. Very well indeed. Uh, we'll cancel that out. You can go to parts and setup now. In career mode, you'll unlock more options for this stuff. See everything set to level one. Uh, that's because we haven't unlocked anything yet. So keep that in mind. We'll get into career mode in a little bit. But first, let's check out what the racing is like here in the game. Really quick, one thing I really do like is that you have an options menu and you have full control of your settings while you're in the options screen uh, while you're racing. I think that's fantastic. To greet it with this screen, we're getting ready to start here at the Isle of Man in our BMW. We have a little guy here says, all right, get ready. Put it into gear if you'd like. We have an outside view. And there we are. We're off to the races now. Uh, I'm going to shut up and let you listen to the game. But I am going to go into a first-person mode at first. I'm not very good in third to start with. Alright. 
All right, first one coming up here. Using a uh, manual transmission, so I am changing the gears on the Xbox One controller with A and Y. We're set up for a left-hander coming up here. And you can also, uh, you know, have it set up to where you can have independent brakes. I have mine set to combined for now. It just, it's a lot to learn from. Ooh, hit a little bit of a wheelie there in second. Easy to do that. A fast section here, but we got to slow down for these corners a little bit. A very disciplined style of racing, TT is. And I've got to say... It reminds me of, like, basically rally racing for motorcycles. <laughs> That's the best way I can kind of put it. It's just as intense and crazy. Can't imagine do these guys doing this in real life. It's just nuts. You've got to be careful on these, these jumps. These jumps will catch you out a little bit, and they'll upset the bike, and you'll, uh, you'll low side her. And there's our first crash of the day. Just a little too much speed in that corner. And this is where you can start really losing a lot of time. Because when you crash, you're losing time on it. Even though if we were to pass that guy in front of us and we finish the race, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, he still would be better than we did if he didn't have a crash himself. So keep that in mind. But as you can see, it's really crazy style of racing. We've got uh, this view here which is basically no helmets, and it's just, uh, you know, the bike itself, and you have an outside view of that. There's another jump there. Got to be ready for that. I'm looking at the mini-map as I'm going uh, through the course, uh, but I also do look at the cues at the top. They tell you where, you know, the corners are coming up, and you can recognize that whenever you need to. We turned in way too early on that one. You've got this view here, which is just a uh, view all up in the tack, which maybe that's more your style. Slow down for this section. Uh, we have a nose cam view, which kind of looks like something you'd see on YouTube. Very puke, so we're not going to do it. And then back to the third person view. This is a great view to uh, learn the track. And that's basically what I've used it for, to learn uh, the course. I'm not as fast or as good uh, in this screen, though. I don't know what it is about the sense of speed or something's different there, but uh, it definitely is not my forte. But I know a lot of people play the game in this camera mode, so I wanted to show it to you. And a hard right coming up here. Really hard right. Short shifted so we didn't pop a wheelie on us there. Difficult section here, and we are already wrecking there, so there you go. That's a look at what the racing is like. Uh, just doing a quick race here and getting used to the Isle of Man. I just gotta say... Um, it's a it's a very challenging game, very fun. If you're into adrenaline style motorsport, I mean, it doesn't get more uh, crazier than this. Like, honestly, and the controls on the Xbox are really nice, or the Xbox One controller, uh, very nice. So I cannot uh, complain. I don't really have any problems. Anytime I've ever been like, oh, that was. Uh, that seemed weird. It was, it's usually my error, uh, as the writer. It's writer's error, uh, and not so much the physics. The physics seem very realistic, and, uh, the bike, uh, seems like it's just, uh, it's forgiving enough in pro, but it's not as not forgiving as in simulation. As you can see right there, in simulation, we would have been dead completely there. So, it does, cor uh, cut some corners, uh, when it comes to that, which is really nice. We'll, uh, wait till we get to a fast section here coming up. 180 miles an hour. It's just absolutely insane, man. Oh, there's a jump there. And we, that's what I'm talking about right there. You got to be ready for those jumps. And the only way you're going to know those jumps are there is by playing it, getting used to the track, and feeling it out. It's a lot to memorize, but, uh, man, it catches you out. We're down in this little village, and this is a really, really technical spot here. You got to be ready for it. Uh, and then we come up to a big, uh, huge jump at the end before we make our right-hand turn. Uh, I believe it's coming up soon. Ready for it. 
You turn to the right there and left. No, still a little bit further to go, I think. Right here's the section. It's a big, huge jump right there. Woo! -hoo. I have been caught out so many times on that one. Uh, we're down here in this little village area here, and it's about to get a little crazy. But I'm really fighting to survive in this race today. These guys are destroying me. Destroying me. Whoa, hello. I don't know what he did, but he's you know, he scared me a little bit there, bud. Just a little bit. Another technical section of the course as we're climbing the mountain now. And we're going to have a hard left-hand turn coming up here. Slow way down for it. Way, way down for it. There we go. Short shift it so we don't lift that nose off the ground. This little section here gets a little dicey, but we're climbing the mountain now and we're getting to that uh, famous fast section. All right, there's that right hand turn here and now we can just really start to open this baby up. This section is so much fun, but you gotta be ready for it because there are some uh, spots in it that you have to slow down on. That one in particular. I mean, we are at 185 miles an hour there. Woo! Had to slow down just a little bit there. It got a little dicey. <laughs> just a bit. Some beautiful vistas off on our right-hand side there, you can see. I've been doing really bad in this section. Been crashing a lot, and I think this guy might be ninth place. I'm not really sure. Or, I mean, eighth place. We're going for a big jump coming up here. There it was right there. And then a really sharp right-hander here. We're just about done with this lap. And I think I'm racing for last place right now. It looks like that's the case. Okay. That was just too much throttle coming out of that turn, man. And uh, that might have sealed our fate, honestly. But we're at the last section of the course. Let's slow down here to fourth gear. And there's our turn and up the hill to the left. We have another sweeping left and then we get back into a hard right 90. And then once we do that, we go up into the little uh, village and we hit the roundabout. Be ready for this. Okay, we slowed down a little too early on that one, but that's okay. You gotta watch how much. That's why I've been short shifting these shorter gears, man, because you don't want to lift that nose off the ground and kill yourself. Slow down for this section here. We did catch him. Let's see if we can get the pass here for the the last spot. Now, this is a very tough turn coming up. This is the uh, roundabout corner. Governor's Bridge, they call it. Let's turn here. Oh, he wrecked. Oh, and I did too. Oh, come on, dude. You've got to be kidding me. He wrecked and I wrecked. Like, we're, we're the worst of the worst here. I cannot get this thing to turn at these speeds. Oh my. Nope. I think we came in dead last, honestly. But I'm still brand new to the super bikes, so. Yeah. Terrible. Let's see where we ended up. Probably dead last, I'd imagine. Really fast. A new thing that uh, they added is free roam. So we're going to check that out really quick for you. Uh, you can choose the time of day uh, here in all of Ireland. Uh, and then you can go into. Uh, your category that you want to ride in. Let's do a classic. Um, let's do the Yamaha. Yeah, we'll do that one. And as you can see, you are loaded up here in this little, uh, little garage area, which is pretty neat. Uh, we put this thing into gear and we can go anywhere we want. Uh, and you'll see that you can just basically free roam the map. Oh, these old classics are awesome. So as you see, we have a fork in the road. We can go anywhere we want. We can go up this way. We can make a right-hand turn. And uh, you can just enjoy Biker's Paradise. It's pretty cool to just ride around and, and do whatever you want. Get used to the bikes. Uh, you know, if you want to practice getting used to uh, what one of them feels like at full speed is the way you do it. But it, either way, you can explore the map. 
uh, and I think that's pretty cool. All right, let's check out career mode. We'll click on career mode. I have started my career mode. I've only done uh, one race so far. So this is the race calendar, so you can After uh, choose. After competing in a race, yep. the calendar automatically advances to the next races available. In this period, you have several races to choose from. Note that certain events are more difficult than others, but also more prestigious. These ones will generally provide more reputation and money if you finish in the top places, whereas you can regain your perk points quicker with less prestigious races. There you go. So that's the uh, little uh, narrator. He does help you through the beginning of the career. Um, I wanted to go ahead and skip over uh, some of that stuff. But you see at the very top, you've got your reputation, minus one. Uh, I've got my money, which uh, is there in the center, and then perk points on the right-hand side. So here's our calendar. I can jump between races I want to do. Uh, some are locked out, obviously. But the goal of the career mode is to get to the Isle of Man, uh, the TT of Isle of Man, uh, at the very end in June. So uh, we can start out here in this race, and you can go down uh, the line to do easier races, if you would like, uh, as you saw there. Uh, coming back here, you've got uh, the garage. So Use the garage to view your bike collection. Yep, exactly. So this is the bike that I own. It's a Honda CBR600RR. Um, and then I do have a... Uh, I have a sponsorship and I'm on a team uh, that has this bike and they gave me that bike uh, as well. So those are the options you have there. You can go to you parts and set up. your bikes for races from this menu. All parts you collect in your career will be available in all other game modes. Yeah, just like we were talking about bikes earlier. Bikes must be a minimum weight to be eligible to enter a race. Okay, so there you go. You can't tinker with it too much, but you've got suspension, transmission, engine, brakes, chassis, uh, wheels, radiator. Uh, and that's that, and we're only on level one of that, so I can't really upgrade anything there at all. So up here on the right, you have your emails. You can view all your emails from this menu. Yep, from this menu, we have all our emails that we got. That's all here. I like the UI. It's very uh, slick. And then you can view your career and trophy statistics from this menu. Yep, so here is the stats. So you get all your stats right here. Time spent in career mode, races completed, distance, money earned, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, everything that you can see here. Pretty cool. I like uh, that it keeps all of that uh, nice and tidy for you. And then you have the Irish Championship. You check out your standings. This is where you can view the Irish Championship standings. The Irish Championship is what we're in right now. We're currently in first since we just uh, got the win on that last track. So let's go ahead and do uh, another race. Go to the race calendar here. We'll do this one. Difficulty easy. This one's medium. Um, uh, let's go with medium. Oh, let's just go with easy because I am a rookie. to use the perks you earn at the end of each race. Perks are actions that give you an edge in each race. You will also need to spend money for some perks. There you go. So we can use perk points. In each race, you can use a perk from each category. Mechanics, engineers, influence, and insurance. Okay. Your perks will reset to zero at the start of each season. So make sure you use them. Okay, so they reset your perks at each season. That's kind of cool. So mechanic ones, you've got uh, level two for that. Engineers is empty. So we only have mechanics available to us right now, it seems. I can't go to anybody else. So we'll uh, use those since we have perk points. Why not? There we go. Uh, and we can choose what bike we're going to take out. Well, we're part of the Kawasaki uh, team, so we're going to take our bike out uh, for that. We'll confirm it. And we're going to Tyrone Road Race in Northern Ireland. All right, let's go racing. Never been here before, um, but these smaller tracks, I think I, I'll be able to uh, get a decent handle on for the most part. All right, here we go. Well, hello. Let's go racing on our Kawasaki. We got everybody else behind us there. There's a tight turn here coming up. Yep, I kind of screwed it up a little bit. I've never raced here before, first time. And maybe they're a little too easy for me, I don't know. Maybe just because I've been playing the game more and more, but when I first started out, uh, they were challenging. So maybe I'm just getting better, I don't know if it's that. Mixture of uh, all of it. Slow way down for this corner here, and even down to first gear, because I don't know where the turn is. Oh, it's right up there, okay. I'm just being cautious because I've never taken uh, a bike around this course. That's grass there, Jeff. There we go. Back to it. So I can see myself playing the uh, career mode uh, in, in going through all of this stuff, especially on uh, streams. 
Let's slow down for this turn here. And see, this is the thing that uh, it, I'm starting to get caught out on a little bit here is it being on the pro physics. We were right there at the end there, too. We have four laps of this. Okay, four laps. Um, but we were on the pro physics, and if we were in simulation, it would, ta it would take way more to turn the bike. Uh, and I think that that would might help us out with our smoothness in the corners. But, oh, hello, we got uh, competition here. Oh, we made contact, and he wins. I, I, I end up crashing off of that. We were just talking about the difficulty and how uh, they were easier, but, man, no, he's... He's, he's pretty fast up there. He's pretty fast. All right, last lap, and we have caught him. We're going to see if we can uh, get by him up here. I don't know. Downshift a little bit there. There he is. I've been beating him getting into the corners, but he's been uh, really getting us on the, the exits. Try to concentrate up here and get a decent finish. So as you can see, this style of racing, you just can't make mistakes, man. When you make mistakes like that, you pay for them every single time. We'll finish second, though. I'm happy with that. Not a pr Oh, no, we finished eighth because we fell off the bike a couple times. So this is the replay mode. We can uh, go ahead and start the replay. You can change the camera uh, with the left and right on the D-pad. You have uh, all sorts of different cameras, your normal ones. And then you have this one as well. You can change the speed. You can speed it up. You slow it down. Uh, all you would like, you can hide the interface as well. But uh, you get some nice little uh, TV camera shots here of the race. So we got ourselves extra coverage perk unlocked. We have lubricant, a slightly increased fuel consumption on that perk. Uh, money was 1,200, perk points 50, and reputation one. The Irish Championship is a competition that takes place throughout the season and includes eight races. At the end of each race, you earn points based on where you finish. Earn the most to win the championship at the end of the year. If you set a good time within 115% of first place, you will also earn a unique signature for each race. Earning six signatures is one of the ways to be eligible for the Tourist Trophy the following year. There are other ways to be eligible for the Tourist Trophy. You can try to win the Junior TT or earn enough reputation to receive an invitation. So there you go. We need invi we need invitation to the TT, uh, but we also can use reputation or the signatures like he was just talking about. And uh, our next race is... Uh, here, but it looks like we can go here to this one uh, and do it. It's uh, difficulty medium. So on this one, we'll do a perk of lubricant and the perk of extra coverage on that. Those are the two that we have unlocked, and we'll take those to the bank. When you sign a contract, no you must use your team's bike for major events, such as the Irish Championship, Junior TT, and the Tourist Trophy. When you start a championship, you can choose freely between the Super Sport and Super Bike categories. All the future races in the championship season will be for the bike category you've chosen. There you go. So uh, now we know that uh, we're still in the super sport and we're going to take it out. Irish Championship Race A in Ireland. This is uh, for Mount Raceway and it's the morning. So we're going to see what the, uh, the morning looks like. I haven't seen anything besides uh, noon racing uh, when it comes to the weather. All right, for this one, we're going to go into our uh, gameplay options, and I want to change the riding style to simulation. I do want to show you what that's like, and I will risk this race to do it. Uh, so we'll confirm that, uh, and then we'll go racing here uh, at Fermont Raceway. All right, put her into gear, ready to go. Green flag, here we go, folks. Simulation style. Oh, man, these guys are fast. I got to constantly remind myself that uh, this is time trial racing. This is not, uh, you know, we're not racing them for position so much uh, as we're trying to be clean and get our laps in the, the right way. As you can see, it takes longer to lean into the corners uh, on simulation mode, but 
on a winding track like this is actually quite helpful. I gotta get used to just how much lean to use. The very winding snake course. Ooh, hello, boys. Ooh, there we go. A little bit better that time. This is a cool track, I must say. Oh, hello. Slower down a little bit here. Yeah, I'm trying to get... This is a lot of, like, just getting your lean down and how much throttle you're giving it. Don't get out of the grass. That's not good. Ooh, tight turn coming up here. Another one coming up, it looks like. Oh, man, look at that sun. That's pretty. That looks nice. Caught back up here with them. Still fighting, even on lap one. So this is going to be a long race, I have a feeling. On lap three here, and uh, we have fallen off the bike a couple times, but we're still in the fray for the most part. Oh, careful to hear. Oh, man. That's what gets you in trouble. I've, uh, I've high-sided the bike a couple times from getting like that. Well, low-sided that one. Well, it's gone from uh, bad to worse. We're now in ninth in this race. We have wrecked so many times. I think I've been playing this game way too long that I'm starting to get bad at it. <laughs> like, I'm starting to make uh, crucial mistakes that I normally don't make. Uh, and it's like, oh my God. Well, at that end, we did change it over to simulation. And, uh, you know, it's helped out a lot with turning, but the amount of braking and I've really kind of been just flinging myself off the bike by high siding it and stuff. Uh, probably due to that fact. All right, we're going to finish this one out, man. This has been a tough one. This has been a very tough race for us. And I don't think I'm going to stick with the simulation uh, physics because, man, I'm so used to having, uh, you know, the braking that I have been using before on pro uh, and on simulation. You just can't do it that way. Just can't be done. But we didn't finish dead last. Well, we finished ninth. Okay, we got, uh, looks like a new perk bonus. Very slightly reduces time spent on pit stops. Uh, we got money, perk points, and reputation. Sweet. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for this first look at TT Isle of Man right on the edge, too. A big thanks to Nacon again. Thank you for sending me this uh, and uh, for giving me the opportunity to uh, make a sponsored video on it because I was going to play it anyway. Uh, and not to mention, uh, I'll be streaming this quite a bit. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun playing the... Um, the career mode. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. I will see you guys next time. Take care.